So now let us come back and learn the next law of chemical combination that is your Berzelius hypothesis or Avogadro's law or and I should say. So let us see the difference. There are a lot of there's major difference between both of them. Let's see. So when I have to speak about Berzelius hypothesis, okay, let us write this here. Berzelius hypothesis. This was the first hypothesis which was given and next to, uh, by correct, correction they have uh, framed Avogadro's uh, law. So Avogadro's law. So Avogadro's law. So when I have to write the definition of this, right, first important, both the cases equal volumes. The, the word has to start with equal volumes. Here also equal volumes right equal volumes of what of all the gases of all the gases here also equal volumes of all the gases the same thing right under what under the same conditions or the con uh, same conditions of temperature and pressure under inverted commas I forgot under same conditions of temperature and pressure okay yes here also same equal volumes of all gases under the same condition of under same conditions of temperature and pressure okay now what is the difference here is the difference what is the difference here according to Berzelius he said it contains equal volumes of all gases and the same conditions of temperature contain equal number of atoms this is where is the major uh, drawback of this let us see what it is contain equal number of equal number of atoms right here what did he say contains equal number of molecules that is what is important fine right so when i have to speak about this it is a right in take an example and understand so now here in this case both are going to speak about gaseous volumes now let me take hydrogen a gaseous state it's going to combine with chlorine this is going to form 2 hcl hydrochloric acid gas right same so now here if i have to take this is what n moles this is also what n moles here this is 2 n moles isn't it fine so now when i have to write in terms of atoms because he uh, they said atoms I, he spoke about uh, regarding atoms so one mole is nothing but this becomes one atom <coughs> this becomes one atom this becomes right two atoms fine when I have to make this becomes half atom this also becomes half atom this becomes one atom right so what is the drawback now according to Dalton Dalton's atomic theory atoms are indivisible isn't it I can't write atom as half atom there is nothing called half atom it is only one atom you can speak about molecule half molecule not a problem but here what is the concept atom can never be uh, half isn't it so it is against Dalton's atomic theory who said atoms are indivisible particles they have subatomic particles like electrons protons and neutrons but atom is indivisible it is a small indivisible particle so this is where so you can write atoms are indivisible so this is ruled out hence this law is ruled out so now when I have to speak about the second case this one so same H2 plus Cl2 giving me 2 HCl the same n moles of this this also n moles of this but here, here this is 2 n moles of this but here what did he speak he spoke in terms of molecules now let us write that <coughs> one not atom one molecule one mo molecule this is also one molecule and this is two molecules further if i have to write this will become half molecule this also half molecule this is one molecule right now I can write isn't it half molecule can exist two half molecules combine together to form one molecule isn't it right so not a problem right molecule in terms of molecule it works out so this is with Dalton's atomic theory Dalton's atomic theory so this particular law is approved 
because it is speaking in terms of Dalton's atomic theory which is a basic atomic theory in, uh, in terms of chemistry. So this is your Berzelius hypothesis, this is your Avogadro's law. Right, and now let's come back and learn the most important Dalton's atomic theory which is the base of all chemical combination reactions. So chemical combination laws, sorry, not reactions. So when I have to speak about Dalton's atomic theory, so this was coined by John Dalton. <coughs> right, so let us write that. John Dalton has coined this word. So now, what is what is he trying to explain us? So basically, John Dalton, Dalton's theory, you need to learn under six different postulates. First of all, what is the first postulate? Let us write common things first and write with the common things. Then it's easy for you to remember. Fine. And this is the way I explain. So the first postulate which Dalton has proposed is matter is made up of the smallest indivisible particles called atoms. That is the first postulate is given. So what does it matter? Matter is made up of is made up of smallest indivisible particles indivisible particles what are those called called particles called atoms particles called atoms that is the atoms the smallest so the same thing related we will write in a different way so atom is the smallest particle that can participate in the chemical reaction the same atom i'm writing it here so what is that atom of the smallest particle the same thing what is that? It which participates in the chemical reaction. Which participates in chemical reaction. Okay. This is also done. Now, next what did he speak about? He said atoms of same substance, atoms of different substance. Let us write that. Atoms of same substance. Next, atoms of different substance i am writing the same thing so it's easy for you so atoms of same substance what do they have they have they will have the same size they'll have the same mass they'll have the same chemical properties they'll have uh, the same shape everything isn't it so atoms of same substance will have will have what are this same what are they size shape mass and chemical properties and chemical properties so when i have to speak about this different substance atoms of different substances will have they'll have different isn't it will have if this is same these are also will be same then if this is have different same thing criteria size shape mass and chemical properties and chemical properties fine that so this is what and next fourth one what did four are over isn't it these two are similar you can remember let us put this in box this is one box which you can write this is one more which is related to the first one and this is the next one which is which these two are related again yes now let us write the now as I said, atoms of different uh, elements combine, they, they combine, isn't it? Different elements, HCl, hydrogen and chlorine are different elements. When they combine, what did they say? They said, he said they are going to combine in the, a fixed simple ratio or a whole number ratio. That is which law? That is nothing but law of constant proportion, isn't it? That law of constant proportion, this it is relating to this law of Dalton. So what do they do? Atoms of, let us put a separate box for this. Atoms of different substances combine in fixed which ratio simple or whole number ratio okay simple or whole number ratio whole number ratio which we have already seen according to constant proportions the last but not the least one what did you say <coughs> this is just like your law of conservation of mass this is law of constant proportion next one what is law of conservation of mass say it is mass can neither be or matter can neither be created nor destroyed so the same thing matter can neither be created nor destroyed that is what he said so these are one two are related three four are related 
five six are related how this is constant proportional law relation conservation of mass relation so when we come back to dalton's every law has certain limitations isn't it then only further you have different laws coming up to correct that and give us new observations so when i have to come back to dalton's atomic theory the limitations are that means what are the drawbacks rather if i have to speak so limitations is what are topics which he could not explain so dalton first of all he said atoms indivisible fine he said atoms are uh, neither uh, uh, you know they can be neither destroyed nor created nor destroyed according to law of conservation of mass but when it comes to limitations of dalton's atomic theory first thing is he could not explain right he could not just uh, he told atom nothing about its structure so he could not explain about okay let us write could not could not explain is a common word fine so he could not explain or speak about structure of atom structure of atom concept was not explained to us when he could not speak about the structure of atom we very well know when when to hold an atom together forming a molecule there should be certain amount of forces acting between them he could not explain about that also he could not explain nature of forces between them nature of okay this f is weird uh, nature of forces between them fine so now after this after the forces what is important you he should learn, know about or he should uh, analyze he is not analyzed about once the forces are there he could not distinguish between an atom and a molecule so he could not explain or not distinguish between b, b by w means between yes between atom and molecule okay now what is the next one after this one more thing we said uh, like equal volume or uh, different atoms of different elements combined with or atoms of different uh, elements combined to form new products isn't it find different elements combined to form different products right with which differ in the properties that concept he could not explain he could not explain why atoms of different elements combine different elements combine why why do they combine to form products he could not explain why different elements combine to form product to form um, molecules okay he could not explain this apart from that he could not support gay lussac's law also he could not support means he, he has not explained anything about gay, gay lussac's law which speaks in terms of gaseous reactants where we spoke about the volumes of gaseous reactants isn't it which combine in the fixed ratio so he could not could not uh, explain gay lussac's law gay lussac's law so these are the drawbacks of dalton's atomic theory so when you are learning try to learn both the postulates as well as limitations